This video will cover the updating of toolbars and installing plugins. This is to be performed by the fabricator's detailer and the reviewing engineer. I will begin with adding icons to the toolbar. From the modeling window under the options pull down, I will open the toolbar configuration. From the command group drop down list, I will select Model Parametric. From the screen, I will drag and drop the icons I want on my toolbar. For both the detailer and the engineer, I will drag and drop the SDS2 status transfer, if there's not one already on my toolbar. I can also add the open sheet icon, which will allow me to open or find any attached PDFs on the member or erection views. The detailer will add to their toolbar the attachment tool so they can attach PDF versions of the shop drawings and any sketches. The reviewing engineer will drag onto the toolbar the approval tool. As I scroll through this list, I do not see the McNamara Salvia report, which is to be used by the engineer. Before this can be accessed, the plugin needs to be added to the SDS2 data directory. I will come back to this. If you have misplaced an icon, you can drag it to another location, or if you want to remove it, like this full status transfer, you just drop it back on the screen. Once completed, you'll be prompted to save the configuration under a new name. I suggest that you do not overwrite the configuration as current, but instead give it a new name such as Frame 73 Modified. If you do not save but hit Cancel, the added icons will remain on the screen and be functional until the modeling session is closed. If you selected Cancel and later decide that you wish to keep this new toolbar configuration, you can use the Save Configuration located in the Options pull-down. I'm going to save this toolbar with the full status transfer removed. Before we get to installing the plugins for the McNamara Salvia reports, which are to be used by the reviewing engineer, I will set the system so the toolbar will be used for each modeling session. From the Options pull-down, select User Options. Then select the Configuration tab. Locate the type of station you are using. For example, the reviewing engineer is using the Approval Station. Select the Modeling Browse button and then select your saved toolbar from the list. On a side note, you can also set your default status configurations from this location at the top of the screen. Let's go ahead and OK to close this screen. Now, when I close and open Modeling Station, we can see that my toolbar is now used. Notice that the full status transfer has been removed. Now on to installing the plugins for the McNamara Salvia report. As stated, this report is for the engineer to generate, but the detailer may also want to generate the report as well. Note, this is only a one-time operation. First locate and open the files required for MacSal folder. Then open the Place Contents in the Plugins folder. Next, locate the SDS2 73C data directory and open it. One easy way to find the data directory is to open Utility Functions from the main menu, run the Find and Restore path, select from the list Global Standards, and then Anchor Bolt from the list. Select from the window the C Program Data SDS 273C and paste it into the Explorer and enter. This should quickly bring you to the SDS 273C data directory. Next, we're going to go ahead and copy the McNamara Salvia Approval Excel Report folder into the Plugins folder. Now, go back to the newly opened modeling window, open the toolbar configuration and options pull down, and in the model parametric command group, you'll see the McNamara Salvia icon. 
drag the icon onto your desktop, and then save the configuration. We are nearly done. To run this special report, we need to add in a plugin for Python. This is required on each computer that will be running the report. Once again, in the files required for MaxSAL, open the Install on Each Computer folder. Then, extract the contents of the XLSX Writer Master Zip onto your desktop. You'll see a folder and an install instruction document. Hover your mouse over the XLS Writer Master folder, press and hold the Shift key, then right click on your mouse button. Select the Open Command window here. Type in in the prompt setup.py space install, then press Enter. A whole bunch of text will scroll by and end back at the prompt. You're now ready to go. Close the window. Back in modeling, I'll select some members and then run the reports. Browse to a location and name the folder. Be sure to keep the XLSX extension. Usually, I'll date and timestamp, but I'll be brief now. Let's go ahead and open up the generated report. Let's go ahead and restrict this just to the rejected comments. Notice how I can also sort the piece marks. This concludes this video.